Today's lesson is called Taiwanese Leopard Cats Clinging to Survival. Hello, everyone. My name is Jeff. And my name is Helen. Ooh, Taiwanese leopard cats. This sounds good to me. They're not cats. They're not leopards. They're something in between. And they're native to good old Taiwan. How cool, how great. Now, you want to know something that's not cool and not great, though? The fact that these leopard cats are clinging to survival, i.e. they're barely making it. Yes, they're being threatened with extinction, and that's not a good thing. Just like Spock used to say there on Star Trek, hunting a species to extinction is illogical. Right, and leopard cats are, a lot of them are in danger of extinction, of no longer existing. And right now they are clinging to survival. Clinging, when you cling to something, means it means you're holding on to something tightly because you're trying to avoid danger. And in this sense, clinging is being used figuratively. Leopard cats are clinging to survival. They're trying to survive, trying not to die out. There you go. They're clinging to survival. They're holding on tight as though their life actually depended on it. Anyways, let's take a break and you guys can read from the first part of our article called Taiwanese Leopard Cats Clinging to Survival. Taiwanese Leopard Cats Clinging to Survival When people think of the world's wild cats, they picture big ones, lions, tigers, leopards, and jaguars. However, that excludes more than 30 species of wildcats documented across much of the world. Most regions lay claim to their own variety of wildcat, and for centuries the island of Taiwan was fortunate enough to have two, the Formosan clouded leopard and the Taiwanese leopard cat. 大家好,标题中我们看到单字cling,这个字是动词,只抓紧,依附,像是cling to。加名词,表示坚持,紧抓点点点不放。例如, Scared of the stranger, the little girl clung to her mother's leg. 因为害怕陌生人,小女孩紧抓着她妈妈的腿。另外,补充一个相关片语, Stick to,加名词,或动词ing,表示坚持,持续做某事。像是, Jen always sticks to her promises. Jen总是坚持她的承诺。或是, I could drive, but I'd prefer to stick to riding my motorcycle. 我是可以开车,但我宁可继续骑我的摩托车。再来,我们看到一个单字, exclude. 这个字是动词,指排除,不包含。像是, exclude somebody from something or doing something. 表示拒绝某人参与某事或阻止某人做某事。举例来说, the managers decided to exclude Thomas from the high-level meeting. 经理们决定不让Thomas参加高阶会议。或是, setting a password for your Wi-Fi will exclude outsiders from using your network. 为你的Wi-Fi设置密码能阻止外人使用你的网路。另外,补充反义动词, include,指包括,包含。我们可以说, the care package Jeff's mom sent included cookies, books, and clothing. Jeff the Mama So we're talking about Taiwanese leopard cats, and these leopard cats are really special to Taiwan for many reasons. Now, when people think of the world's wild cats, they picture big ones, lions, tigers, leopards, and jaguars. However, that excludes more than 30 species of wild cats documented across much of the world. So the feline family is made up of many different types of animals. There are lions, tigers, leopards, and those are the usual felines that we think of when we think about the world's wild cats, big cats. But actually, there are other species, 30 of them, documented across the world. Now, most regions lay claim to their own variety of wild cat. 
and for centuries the island of Taiwan was fortunate enough to have two. The Formosan clouded leopard and the Taiwanese leopard cat. These were the two species of wild cat you'd find on the island of Taiwan. Yes, it says most regions lay claim to or have their own variety of wild cat, and for centuries, Taiwan was lucky. They were fortunate to have two varieties of wild cat. Both the Formosan clouded leopard and then the Taiwanese leopard cat, which is the cat that we'll be focusing on today. Now, one thing that troubles me in this sentence: it says that the island of Taiwan was fortunate to have two. They were fortunate to have these cats. Does that mean they no longer have two species? Probably that past tense here means that something might no longer be the case. Right. It seems that one of these two kinds of wild cats is in danger of disappearing, and we are going to find out which one it is. Now, most regions, it says here, lay claim to their own variety of wild cat. To lay claim to something, you say that when you want to say that something belongs to you. So. I could also say the country of Italy lays claim to having some of the most beautiful artworks in the world. Yeah, they make this declaration. Okay, they say that this is ours, so to speak. Now, before we take a break, one note here: we used the word exclude in this particular paragraph. Exclude is a verb. It's the opposite of. Include yes. If you don't include something, you exclude that thing. Okay. If you exclude a person, let's say from your friend group, you don't let them become a part of that friend group and stuff like that. Yeah, excluding people is not the right thing to do. Be inclusive when it comes to people. Anyways, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a short break. But don't go away. We'll be right back with more on Taiwanese leopard cats. They're clinging to survival. Sadly, due to a combination of overhunting and habitat loss, clouded leopards are thought to be extinct in Taiwan today. The leopard cat, on the other hand, is still clinging to survival, with estimates putting the total population at fewer than 500 individuals. Unlike clouded leopards, leopard cats can hide in plain sight. They're the same size as a domestic cat and have similar tendencies. They primarily eat mice and rats. And though they can swim, they prefer to avoid water. The second part, we see the word habitat. This word is a noun, meaning a place. For example, the fields of grass with many bushes to hide in were a perfect habitat for the rabbits. The rabbits' most beautiful place is a field with many bushes to hide in. Next, we see the word in plain sight, meaning in plain sight. In plain sight, meaning in plain sight. 近在眼前，我们可以说 Jack left Marcy's gift sitting in plain sight. Jack 把 Marcy 的礼物遗留在很明显的地方。另外，补充几个与 plain 相关的片语。第一 ，in plain English or language 表示浅显的说明。举例来说 ，Will translated the technical manual into plain English. Will 把那本技术手册翻译的浅显易懂。第二 ，as plain as day. 表示显而易见，一清二楚。像是 ，The reason this flashlight won't work is as plain as day. The batteries are missing. 这个手电筒不亮的原因很明显，里面电池不见了。And welcome back. So in today's lesson, we are going to look at two types of Wild cats that Taiwan lays claim to being their very own, and these two types are the Formosan clouded leopard and the Taiwanese leopard cat. Now, sadly, due to a combination of overhunting and habitat loss, clouded leopards are thought to be extinct. In Taiwan today, so that's a really sad state of affairs because we are learning now that clouded leopards are probably not going to last long, or maybe they have already completely disappeared. And the reason for that is they have been hunted, they have been overhunted, and also the place where they naturally live are being destroyed. So that's referring to habitat. A habitat is a kind of place that an animal usually lives in or that a plant grows in. So you can. 
can also use it for plants. For instance, I could say that the natural habitat of camels is the desert. They are most comfortable, and they usually live in deserts or in dry areas. And in the case of clouded leopards, their natural habitat is being destroyed, which is affecting also their livelihood. There you go. There's habitat loss, and once they no longer have a habitat, where can they live? Nowhere their habitat is gone. So if we lose all of those habitats, we're going to lose all of those animals as well. Long ago, there were two great species of wildcat here in Taiwan. Now people are pretty sure that only one still exists. Yeah, clouded leopards are thought to be extinct in Taiwan today. Although there was a report last year that came out that the Formosan clouded leopard had been spotted by some people in Taichung, but they, they get a picture? No, they didn't get a picture, but uh. they said they reported that they saw the clouded leopard leaping from a tree or jumping over a fence or something, but that's just hearsay. Still,、oh. it's interesting. Yeah, that's a good thing. It's a good sign. Maybe they're not extinct, but for the most part, people do think that these animals are extinct in Taiwan today. But hey, that's a ray of sunshine there. We have hope. Maybe there's a small population of clouded leopards that haven't been killed off yet. Anyways, that's enough for clouded leopards. The leopard cat—that's what we're going to talk about next. The Taiwanese leopard cat. The leopard cat, on the other hand, is still clinging to survival, with estimates putting the total population at fewer than 500 individuals. Oh no! I mean, they're not extinct yet, but this is not good. There are fewer than 500 of these cats still around. Now that number might sound big, but it's really a small number when it comes to an entire species. The population of that entire species is below 500. Right, 500 isn't a good number at all. When you want to think in terms of the safety of a particular species of animal, the chances of their survival. So scientists have put have estimated the total population at fewer than 500 individuals. Now, when you put something at something, this is a phrase that means to calculate the size or the amount or the cost of something. So you could say that car is expensive. I don't know the Price exactly, but I would put the cost at around two million NT dollars. So you you're、go. estimating. You're estimating. Okay, you don't know the exact price, but hey, close is good enough. So you can either estimate or you can put an estimate at some value. That's the idea here. Anyways, unlike clouded leopards. Leopard cats can hide in plain sight. So apparently, clouded leopards—they kind of went extinct first, or they're on their way, or were on their way, put on their way to extinction first because they weren't as good at hiding as leopard cats are. Get this: leopard cats can hide in plain sight. Yeah, usually when you hide. You get behind something so people can't see you, or you camouflage yourself so people have a hard time seeing you, and it's really hard to hide. Hiding in and of itself is difficult. To hide in plain sight where everyone can see you, oh my goodness, that's next to impossible. That's right. In plain sight means that it's easy to see; it's right there in front of you. So if an animal can hide in plain sight, it means it has really good skills at hiding. It's hiding in a way that you. Should be able to see them, but you can't see them. So, for instance, I might say something like, "A hundred-dollar bill was sticking out of my pocket in plain sight." And I'm surprised nobody stole it because it was right there for anyone to take. It was in plain sight. It was in plain sight, and these cats can hide in plain sight. It might be right there in front of you, one meter away from you, and you still can't see it. It's hiding in plain sight. How cool! Now there's more. They're the same size as a domestic cat and have similar tendencies. They primarily eat mice and rats, and though they can swim, they prefer to avoid water. Yes, this does sound like a domestic cat to me. You got the mice and they got the rats, and even though cats can swim, they don't like water. They tend to avoid water. By the way, here we have the word tendency. If you tend to do something. 
you have a tendency to do that thing. That's right. A tendency is a habit. It's like a habit, or an, it's an aspect of your character or of an animal's behavior. So, for instance, children have a tendency to imitate the way their parents talk and behave. And here it says that leopard cats have the same tendencies, more or less, as domestic cats. So they don't like water. They try to avoid water. They eat mice and rats. Even though I have to say, my cats, my domesticated cats, do not eat or catch mice and rats because they've gotten really lazy. But aside from that, these leopard cats are more or less the same as domestic cats. Anyways, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a short break. But don't go away. We'll be right back after this. Leopard cats sit firmly at the top of the food chain in the places they call home, mainly the low-altitude mountain regions of Miaoli, Taichung, and Nanto. Their presence in these areas keeps the local ecosystem in balance. Research begun little more than a decade ago has started to demonstrate just how essential they are and why we need to save them. The third part, we see the word ecosystem. 这个字是名词，指生态系统。举例来说 ，The new law aims to aid in preserving forest ecosystems. 这条新法律的目的是协助保护森林生态。最后，我们看到一个形容词 essential， 指必要的、不可或缺的。例如 ，It is essential that you call Fred as soon as you get this message. 你一收到这则讯息，必须马上打电话给 Fred。或是。Garlic and basil are two essential ingredients in Italian cooking. 大蒜和罗勒是意大利料理中不可或缺的食材。And welcome back. So now let's look at leopard cats and find out a little bit about where they live. Now leopard cats sit firmly at the top of the food chain in the places they call home, mainly the low altitude mountain regions of Miaoli, Taichung, and Nanto. Their presence in these areas keeps the local ecosystem in balance. There you go. Their presence, okay. The fact that they reside there, they live there. Their presence in these areas keeps the local ecosystem. In balance, so if you lose those leopard cats, your ecosystem will no longer be in balance, and this is important when it comes to ecosystems. By the way, an ecosystem is like a habitat, but it's more complicated. When you talk about an ecosystem, you're talking about how life in a certain area functions, how living things in that area interact with one another to make sure that they're all. Healthy to make sure that that particular area is in balance as far as the natural world is concerned. That's what an ecosystem is all about. And apparently, leopard cats are important for the local ecosystems in these areas. They keep these ecosystems in balance. That's right. Research begun little more than a decade ago has started to demonstrate just how essential they are. And why we need to save them. So research has shown that these leopard cats are very important. They are essential. Something that's essential is necessary and important to a situation. So these leopard cats are essential to local ecosystems, and this has been shown by research. So the research has demonstrated this fact. To demonstrate something is to show clearly that something is true. So, for instance, an example sentence would be: "This study demonstrates the health risks of e-cigarettes." There you go. It demonstrates this, and apparently, research has shown that these leopard cats are essential to these ecosystems, these habitats, and stuff like that. They're vital. They're critical. They can't be done without. They are. Essential. For example, for the word essential, you could say that water is an essential element for all living things on planet Earth. Without water, we as a species and pretty much all life on Earth would be kaput. All right, folks. With that, it is time for us to take a break. But don't go away. The Chinese teacher is waiting in the wings.
各位同学，大家好，我是 Hanny。我们来看今天的文法重点。课文一开始提到，人们想到野生猫科动物，想的都是大型猫科，像是老虎、花豹等等。但那不包括世界上这个大多数地方所记载过的三十多种野生猫科物种。那这边用到单字 exclude， exclude 它表示把什么排除在外，不包括。那我们来学习它的字首字根。好，看到 c l u d。C L U S C L O S E 这些字根呢，有这种关闭、封锁、结束，或是把它围住的意思。像 include 就是把什么什么包围在里面的意思，所以它有包括的意思嘛。那么 exclude 这个字当中，它的字首 e x 表示在什么之外。那么字根 clude 的部分表示关闭。当我们把某人或某事物关在外面，就表示把它排除在外，不包含在内喽。好，那顺便补充有这一类字根的单字，第一个 conclude。它的字首 c o n 表示完全，那么 clude 它有结束的意思，完全结束应该就可以联想到 conclude 它有结束、总结的意思吧。好，第二个补充的是 seclude。S E C L U D E， 好，它的字首 S E 表示分开，那么 clued 表示关闭。如果把自己跟大众群体这样分隔开来，把自己关起来，那就表示孤立隔绝喽。那么 seclued 它就有这种使什么隔离呀、啊，或是孤立，或是隐居的意思。好，第三个补充的是 disclose。D I S C L O S E， 它的字首 D I S 表示否定，那么 close 表示关闭。同学们可以试着想，某个秘密不是关在小房间让几个人知道而已，而是把它公开透露出去，否定关闭嘛？用这样子去联想看看，所以也许就可以想到说 disclose， 它有这种揭发、透露、公开的意思。好，那么第四个补充的是。Recluse 或者是 recluse，R E C L U S E， 它的字首 R E 是做强调用，那么 C L U S E 它表示关闭。当一个人把自己关起来，与世隔绝，或是处于这种孤独的环境中，应该就可以联想到这个字，它有这种隐士。隐居者的意思，那它的形容词是 reclusive， 那就可以用来形容隐遁的、离群所居的。好，接着读到课文最后一句，他说 ，research begun little more than a decade ago has started to demonstrate just how essential they are。十多年前才展开的研究开始显示，他们多么不可或缺。那句子里面用到 little more than。Little more than， 它表示仅仅只是怎么样，只不过是怎么样怎么样。那么也可以用来强调数量很少，意思就会跟 no more than 或者是 nothing more than 很接近。举例来说 ，The cake is made with little more than eggs, flour, butter, and sugar。这个蛋糕原料只有鸡蛋、面粉、奶油和糖，仅此而已。好，那再造个例句。He had little more than a few dollars in his pocket. 他的口袋里不过就只有几块钱而已。这就是用来强调这个数量很少喽。好，那么以上是今天重点整理，我们回顾今天的单词吧。Cling. The head of the Conservative Party is still clinging to power despite his low approval rating. Exclude. We must exclude the prisoner's confession because the police used unfair methods to obtain it. Fortunate, Angela was fortunate that her family could afford to send her to such a good school. Tendency, there has been a growing tendency among younger people to marry later or not at all. Demonstrate, the experiment demonstrated that dogs are capable of learning over 100 different words. Essential. Thinking outside of the box is an essential skill for problem solving. Well, this is the end of our program. We hope you had a great time with us today. Hope you can join us again. From all of us here, I'm Helen. I'm Jeff. See, See you next time. time.